After 31 sessions to hear evidence and testimonies from 106 witnesses, Israel's official inquiry into the Hebron Mosque massacre released its sensitive findings. The commission prepared a 338-page report detailing how a Jewish gunman gained access to a mosque filled with Palestinians. The report on the incident was given to journalists at Jerusalem Supreme Court building. The mosque is here at Hebron's Tomb of the Patriarchs, a site sacred to both Jews and Arabs. It's been kept closed by the Israeli army since the massacre in February. The inquiry has determined that Jewish settler Baruch Goldstein acted alone when he opened fire on worshippers, killing some 30 people. Israeli Prime Minister Yitzhak Rabin called a meeting of his cabinet to discuss the report's findings. The commission criticized police for maintaining lax security at the mosque, noting that police guards were not manning their posts there when the shootings occurred. The government will give it this most serious and uh, uh, thorough uh, consideration. The report also found that the Israeli army was not to be held responsible for the massacre. Uh, I can't say, but that it's, um, it's important to, to read in it that uh, the murder was an action of a single individual, that um, they cannot find anyone to be blamed for being unable to uh, expect it or predict it. The reasons for the massacre uh, are still there. I think settlers and settlements will continue to be the time bombs that may explode in our faces at any moment. And this is why we've been urging that this issue be put to the negotiating table. Palestinians say the report will do little to prevent extremist Jewish settlers from carrying weapons. The settlers say firearms are necessary for their own protection. The Jews are, who are the ones who have been constantly attacked by Arab terror. And this is only a very uh, far-fetched exception that uh, Arabs were killed by Jews. 